Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, blessed star sages of our electric light rays of eternal life. We had a powerful trinity of activations flowing through the quantum field today for further transformations in the light. Our local Solaris released several C-class solar flares, the most powerful maxing at C 9.86 at 1606 UTC. We also had two pillars of higher resonance appearing on the Schumann charts today at amplitudes of 32 hertz and a big white blast of light at 52 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics pulsing in. Pachamama also received another massive activation today on the Ring of Fire in Mother Earth's Crown Chakra in the Aleutian Islands of Alaska with a magnitude 6.4 earthquake at 1135 UTC, coming very deep at a depth of 187 kilometers. These multidimensional energies are flowing in and out of Divine Mother's crystalline core to expand the Divine Feminine Heart for our ascension journey to rise to a new level of bliss and compassion for all life in all realms, timelines, and dimensions here now. Together, all star seed earth angelics are flooding this realm with the violet flame, with the power of our almighty I Am Presence. Keep blazing the love of infinite source creator into the world to bridge the known with the unknown, the physical with the non-physical, the yin with the yang, to bring all into the healing of the Holy Spirit. The eagle and the condor anchor in the highest divine union frequencies of unconditional love into the song lines of Gaia to assist all our good people of the new earth to shift this timeline into the new golden age of enlightenment for all sentient beings of the way. Continue to go through and through and through until full and total compression breakthrough as supernova guardians of Terra Nova Gaia. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribe, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful daily contemplation and divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light Victoria Lillianquist. October 16th, 733 p.m. Intense energies today, very restless last night. How is everyone holding up? We are definitely being prepared. Tonight, I am going to sleep early and will be going deep. Feels our magnified deep sleep is coming like a tidal wave. Stay strong, beloved family. Commander Victoria Lillianquist from victoriaslight.com and from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, as we are shifting into the expanded consciousness of the Divine New Earth in the present moment of now, our consciousness is expanding as our heart becomes crystal, and the greatest coherence of spirit and matter will blast our heart chakra with bliss. When the heart chakra is open, we will feel an abundance of love, gratitude, compassion, creative desire, forgiveness, peace, awareness, and wisdom. We will have arrived at the beginning, beloved ones, within divine love of one, Pars Kute, and from divine Sistar of the Light, Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 10, 16, 23, number 16 is known as the number of destruction and resurrection. It is the dark night of the soul when ego gives way to higher consciousness and when enlightenment dawns. Its sum is seven, seeker of spiritual truth and understanding. 2023 is a seven year. This is why each of us has been on a personal journey of self-reflection and transformation. 
but you have now entered the rising time. Time to resurface and redefine priorities and desires. Today wants to know what new you wants, based on all that has been revealed and acknowledged. And you're ready to choose, but choose wisely, because next year will try to bring you what you ask for. And today from Divine Sistars of the Light, Casey Clawson and Valerie A. Elster, the Ancient Ones, Dragon Tribes of the Ancient Kingdoms, Rulers before there were rulers on the land, stepping forward for reclamation of their ancient names. The dragons carry both the lineage and the codes of creation. Ancient partnerships are reunited as dragon families gather again. The linking up is dragon counterparts, sacred unions and ancient dragon forms, elemental dragons syncing up with their divine counterparts. Solar dragons uniting with their ocean dragon mates. Earth dragons calling back their sky dragon pair. The Heros Gamos of the most ancient levels being played out in both the dragon and human form. The human levels of these ancient ones are being called home. The remembering of their primordial souls with the activation of their ancient names. With this remembrance, the monads will form relinking of souls and relinking the land back to the original tribes of Gaia. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Weekly Energy Forecast, October 16th through the 22nd, 2023. Worldwide shifts begin. Dear friends, as we leave behind the intense energies of the amazing Ring of Fire solar eclipse, we are this week entering fully into the eclipse corridor period. This stretch of two weeks will end with a lunar eclipse during the full moon on October 28th. Those of you who are energy sensitives probably felt the sharp energetic shift during the solar eclipse, but this was just the beginning. The energetic waves created by the solar eclipse will be with us all around the world, pushing deeper and deeper into our energetic fields. The changes that are being triggered during this eclipse corridor are taking place at the individual and collective level. No matter if the eclipse was visible or not in the area where you are located. As we navigate this new week, we will feel some subtle but clear inner shifts within our whole being. The Eclipse Corridor is acting as a catalyst for inner change, and those areas of your life that have been out of balance since 18 to 20 years ago will now have to be faced and processed, and will achieve a new perspective and closure. Limiting belief systems about your identity will come into your awareness as we enter this week, and the Eclipse energies will assist tremendously with the processing and rebalancing. Try to take a few minutes daily for reflection and meditation as you create and envision an energetic bridge going from your heart into the solar energies. This energetic connection will bring more clarity into your own individual process and journey. And each of us undergoes this process of clearing and releasing. The same happens at the level of communities and societies. Old trauma is being pushed to the surface for yet another opportunity to find balance from a more compassionate and understanding perspective. This process can be challenging, as the old stagnant ways try to keep us anchored into fear and pain. As we allow the new light to enter into our fields, we assist this process of alchemical change to move forward in a more peaceful way. Your physical body may also feel tired and out of balance during this post-eclipse week. Please give yourself as much time as needed to recover and regenerate as your fields adjust to these new changes. Stay hydrated and keep your mind centered in your heart. We are truly moving through a period of metamorphosis, individually and collectively. Allow these changes to take place and let a renewed light shine on you. Have a wonderful week. Much love. We are one. From DiegoBerman.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Diea Cosmic Blu-ray Your quantum realm has shifted again. 
different energetic signature, even though physical reality appears the same. Pay attention to the subtle things. Dates are only that, dates. Time is a construct and non-linear. Observe how nature with her beauty, bounty, full fauna, flora, beings are assisting the cosmic divine feminine to take her place in the foreground of the new era. Watch with divine neutrality the distractions that could lower your vibrations. This is the moment of discernment and resonance. Trust your heart. Rise above current chaos. It is a necessary part of your evolutionary process. As the dark screams while falling to its demise, keep your heart resonating in harmony of the higher dimensions. The old way of life is dissolving and no longer serves humanity and Terra. Those who harm others, extract human souls and vital life force will be rendered powerless. You can all assist with your energy of love by staying grounded in the highest frequency of your divine presence. Remember you are given the exact amount of strength for the day. Do not think about the future. Do not think about what decisions you need to make and how you will feel tomorrow. 1111 coming in. Your task for the day is to live that day with the maximum amount of presence. Overcome challenges as they come and as you can handle them. Make as many steps as far as possible because strength is always given for the day and tomorrow. Tomorrow everything can change for the better, and the black clouds will gradually begin to float away beyond the horizon. The main thing is to live the day. Human ETs are of the same consciousness embodied in a human body, a drop of water in a divine ocean of consciousness. So no matter what tragic stories are shown, do not hold fear, anger, or separation and see yourself and one another as beautiful, powerful, divine souls that you truly are. You are Love Light, Diea Cosmic Blu-ray, and from Divine Sister of the Light Linda Lee, Gaia is asking for help. Dear family of love and light, Gaia has a quick message for light workers. Since Gaia has taken over the planet over a week ago, she has been reorganizing the planet and sorting things out. Although most of the time she does this to clean up the planet and make sure that the planet is getting back into shape. In her effort of clearing the planet, Gaia has discovered that there are a great deal of hidden old densities in different areas of the planet, and that is what she has been busy doing. However, even though she is working around the clock to eliminate the unwanted energies, there is still a great deal more that she discovered. Now she is asking lightworkers to help her in this endeavor. Gaia says in order to move the divine plan forward on time, the old densities need to be removed now. That is why she needs as many lightworkers as possible to join this effort and together can get the job done quicker. She knows that light workers have been incarnated in different areas of the planet, and it is perfect for this undertaking. It doesn't matter where light workers are because the clearing effort is worldwide, and light workers worldwide can pitch in and help her. Gaia is hoping that this operation can start as soon as light workers join her so that she can get it done quicker. So if you hear the call, please join Gaia and help her with this urgently needed project. The planet is in need of cleaning up and Gaia needs help with this endeavor. Thank you for your light work and unconditional love for Gaia and humanity. Divine blessings to you always, Linda Lee, Gaia the Divine, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. From Divine Sister of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, the Double DNA Strand, the Twin Flames. The human DNA has been severely damaged. We are at the point that the energy is guiding us to fully embody the physical restoration and upgrade of the organic human double DNA strand. Yes, there are more double strands, but unless one comes to the point of physically and successfully upgrading and restoring the first double strand, the higher double strands cannot be experienced or lived. 
Each set of DNA carries a different couple of opposite but complementary universal qualities, energies, and flows. I have shared many times how I am often witnessing people in the spiritual community who, though they might appear or feel very involved, they actually still hold wide and deep inner disconnection to themselves, which they are either avoiding or totally unaware of. This is coming from unaddressed trauma, distorted beliefs, unresolved karma, generational programming, and lack of true self-knowing. Us having inner disconnection is absolutely normal and fine. This is why we are here, in order to heal and reconnect. But having the belief that while holding inner disconnection, you can actually achieve an organic 24 48 stranded DNA activation or liberation, ascension or divinity is pure illusion. This is why, especially this year, many people either got disappointed by the energy and entered denial or accepted the energy, got pulled back and started addressing their inner disconnections. This understanding needs to be clear in us as we are now at the very phase of physical embodiment and we need to keep and retain contact with the truth on our inner state. What we are guided to do now is huge. Just to be able to bring the double strand in alignment to the organic flow of its two qualities is the biggest task. Once we align ourselves to them, really embody the transformation in our physical expression and gain stability, then the remaining double strands will align to the first double strand and start unfolding naturally. Tomorrow is our first major work focused on this via the essence of the twin flames. Please keep in mind that this inner work can only take place via divine blessing. The twin flame inner work is not merely about finding a soulmate, having a relationship, creating a family, project, etc. It is so much more than this. Twin flames are the actual flows of creation. Everything we see and do is the twin flames. They are the ones who have the keys of creation and are breaking the fallen system, bringing liberation for all. Twin flames have now received the green light to proceed to the next step. Blessings of alignment and truth. Erini, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusul. My soul songs rise in crescendo as my heart is overflowing with so much love as the divine imprints expand within me. Such high vibrational frequency energy is pouring in, and so pure, that everything which is not of purity, the immensely high frequency and vibrations are surfacing to finally be dealt with and released, forgiven, and let go of. Within this all the patterns of pain and suffering, of all which are destructive and which have no place in the new earth. This is a huge purification in the utmost sense of the word. And as all is lifted to be exposed, dissolved, and let go of, the inpouring of divine love, light, and power is transfiguring it all into the higher Christ, Buddha, Atma, eternal self-energy. It is a unifying power, for it will expose all within us, which is still in the state of separation, fear, alienation, judgment, criticism, anger, hatred, the list goes on. What is returning is balance, not only the balance between the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, yin-yang, but indeed the great cosmic balancing act where we finally return to the universal consciousness and the unity with all that is. In truth, as souls, we are very pure. It is just that when on earth we choose to play out acting roles and then forget that we are but acting out roles of the plays or movies we choose to act in, when in reality these movies are not the truth but fiction and illusion. We are all now stepping into the expanded understanding that to attain mastery one also understands that one is creating one's own reality. With every thought you think, every word you speak, every action you take or do not take, what you create is your own sole responsibility. For what is within you reflects outside, 
as within, so without. When you are so filled with love and fully embrace your divinity, you exude and radiate love. Your whole life demonstrates the divine love within you. More than this, you now start co-creating from your heart and soul, and in the highest and best ways possible, for the highest good of all. I am being constantly reminded to co-create and anchor in the new golden age, in the here and now, and not only this, but to become it with great love. The I now becomes the we, united in love, through love, and with love. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica Together we join in a unified field of light, for the light of now is expanding, a wonderful light formation, for our light roles are rapidly transforming, as massive light upgrades are signaling the light workers. No, these are the higher light adjustments currently occurring, for our physical world is undergoing mass energetic upgrades and changes, for the light bridges of now are enabling us to see and feel this. The path of clearing, aligning, and awakening to the now moment is simply brought before us, as we feel the light adjustments in the higher realms now permeating our reality. We are simply required to acknowledge this message, for the light synchronicities of now are wonderful, powerful, and awe-inspiring. Simply ground in light, be open to receive messages of light, be the light messenger for others. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code Ancestral karma is no longer keeping you stuck. The fight to free yourself is ending. Shift your energy towards cleansing and transmuting these past efforts so you can get grounded and stable. Reset during these endings in preparation for the new beginning. Recover back your energy, passion, and drive that will be applied towards the exciting new adventures that you are moving to. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise. October 16th through the 23rd, 2023, a new day. Well, here we are in the strange time in between eclipses. We can make the most of this by being very deliberate with our energy and vibration and where we put our attention. There is growing evidence that we are in a huge timeline shift. It's time for the obstacles of the past to fall away so that we can move forward in new directions. Finally, the tide is turning in our favor, but we must rise to claim it. We are feeling Mercury opposite of Chiron and Aries, bringing forward tension from where we have given our life and life force away. More and more people are waking up to the fact that they haven't been really living, but more like just going through the motions. Time is accelerating, and we must grab a hold of the most positive attitude and experiences. It's time to truly live. The Sun and Mercury were both opposite Chiron for last weekend's intense solar eclipse in Libra, urging us to stand up and claim the life we deserve to live. Portals are opening, helping us to see the other side of the story. Quickly drop the damaging conditioning which has kept us playing small and move out of the battle of duality consciousness. Mercury is catching up to the Sun in Libra, and this week they both come into conjunction with the south node of the Moon, and opposite with the north node of the Moon in Aries. Mercury and the Sun are triggering the nodes of the Moon, pushing us to resonate with the highest timeline of human possibility. It is a powerful culmination energy happening right in the middle of eclipse season, as Mercury and the Sun together square up with Pluto and Capricorn on October 21st. Mercury and the Sun together in Libra are bringing an activation of the brilliant minds that have been working behind the scenes to make our world a better place. We are coming up against the same old authority energy which has been working against human potential and brilliance since back in Atlantean time. 
bright souls are stepping forward, demonstrating their light and power and supporting humanity to stand up for their right to freedom and the positive technology and advancement which is rightfully ours. Mercury and the Sun move over into Scorpio on the 23rd and 24th, bringing a jump start to Scorpio season. Scorpio wants to dig deep and discover the truth. Overlapping with eclipse season, we are bound to uncover some deep and uncomfortable mysteries. All of this is leading up to the lunar eclipse on October 28th, which happens at 5 degrees Taurus. Mercury will catch up to Mars at 12 degrees Scorpio on October 30th, and together they will oppose Jupiter and Taurus. This is a massive activation of our hidden wealth within. Supernovas, it's time to shine bright with our full light and guide the way for humanity out of this long, dark chapter. A new day is dawning, and we lead the way. From AdrianElise.com And today, from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Monday, October 16th, the moon, ruler of subconscious patterns, is in the depths of Scorpio, and today will be connecting to Jupiter, ruler of our belief systems and internal truth, Chiron, who rules old wounds and traumas from other lifetimes, and Uranus, planet of breakthrough and liberation. Early Tuesday, Eastern Time, Luna will also connect with Neptune, planet of mysticism and enlightenment and Pluto, ruler of death and rebirth energies. As we are now in the midst of eclipse season, this will have a more powerful effect on us. We are expanding our thoughts and perceptions to see and understand the bigger picture, reintegrating soul aspects of ourselves that we have disassociated from, changing and freeing ourselves from conforming to the norm, finding higher inspiration to move towards our dreams and digging down deep within our psyche to transmute old patterns and transform ourselves in a new and glorious way. This is part of the journey in our evolution and growth, and the solar eclipse on October 14th and upcoming lunar eclipse on October 28th are assisting us as catalysts in this process. Blessings of love and light to all, from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Jupiter Retrograde and Taurus Opposite Ceres in Scorpio. Venus in Virgo, Sextile Vesta and Cancer. Hunger, hungry, hangry. It feels like whatever we eat, whatever we consume, it isn't enough. Wrapped up in the Jupiter series, opposition is the fear that everything we have accumulated will be taken away. The impetus is to double down, to grasp, to hold on, to secret away. But the more we possess, the more we fear, and so the situation goes on. Big loss, big gains, all or nothing. Everything is cast in extremes. Inside it feels like a chasm, a bottomless pit that can never be filled. So we must go to Venus and Vesta, catch the lifeline they offer us, work the problems. Sometimes you just have to go back to basics and remember what is important. Family is sacred. Home is sacred. Keep the hearth fire burning. Thank your house spirit and the spirit of your land. Relight your inner fire. Know your gifts. Serve from the heart. Take care of everyday duties with love and devotion. Make others feel valued and appreciated. Love is the candle in the dark. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 256, Yellow Solar Warrior. The number nine is called Solar and its keywords are Realizing, Intention, and Pulse. The ninth day is all about intention, grabbing what you want. It is a very powerful number, so be very careful about your intentions. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck, said the Dalai Lama. Whatever you pursue today, consider if you really need it, because the chances of you succeeding are very high. Today is Yellow Warrior, and the key words associated with it are intelligence, fearlessness, and questioning. Yellow Warrior days are about taking on a mission. The combination of day and number makes this one of the most powerful days in the Zolkin cycle. 
if you take on a quest or go on the warpath with the number nine adding fire in your belly there's no stopping the determined warrior today the warrior has an insatiable appetite for knowledge and asks a lot of questions you may find this energy influences you today and you feel determined to get to the bottom of things and today from divine sis star of the light christina papa giorgio yellow solar warrior nine keeb king 256 16th of october 2023 fearlessly pulsing intelligence 16 10 2023 equals 717 equals 78 equal 15 equals 6 717 magical new beginnings day code 16 the tower sudden unexpected change seven magic mystic spiritual solitude initiation test 15 spiritual alchemy charisma magnetism 6 heaven christ family romance fertility month year codes 10 manifestation perfection leader authority power 1 new beginnings original unique leader independent 8 infinite abundant source flow 20 the awakening clear vision 2 partner twin cooperation alliances duality 23 royal star of the lion strength protection king 256 equal 13 equal 4 form foundation earth a very magical day focused on using our higher intelligence to create a new system a new beginning riding on the waves of this new moon solar eclipse in libra bringing forth a new golden era of peace day nine of the spectacular yellow star wave spell where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty grace and harmony in our lives so that our lives become a living work of art and so we reach day nine in the final countdown to pierce the veil through to source today we are fully focused on consciously co-creating beauty and harmony through intention we get to realize what it is to be creatively pulsing forth our radiant creations through our higher intelligence, questioning and rejecting all that is not defined as art. Tone of creation, solar tone nine in the spiritual realm. Action realizes power pulses, essence intention. The ninth day of the yellow star wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest, and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in making our dreams come true. The star fueled by solar power is potent manifestation energy today. This solar star energy is amplifying the eclipse ring of fire energies to catapult us into a new direction. Golden solar powered energy stored in our solar plexus chakra, your Dan Tien, the powerhouse of your stored chi. Pulse this electric yellow energy out into the vortex of creation with your commanding intention that you deserve and expect a better life shape create and construct your powerful energized intentions through this holographic universe to manipulate the ethers in order to manifest your heartfelt desires into your new reality you are the humanitarian whose dreams unfold the larger pattern of our new world what powerful dreams are you pulsing into reality celebrate the death of the old world and create the space for the new to enter the universe will fill that vacuum with wondrous new surprises. Today's question is how can I use my creativity to pulse my intentions forward, choosing a world filled with beauty, love, and harmony, where time is art. Go forth, peace-filled rainbow warriors, you are the artist. What are you choosing to paint on the canvas of your soul's journey? In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 256, Yellow Solar Warrior. The mantra, the code for today is I pulse in order to question, realizing fearlessness. I seal the output of intelligence. 
with the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of free will. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Ashtara Aset Ra, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, John May, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light, Dale Johnson, for your super thanks donation on YouTube. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your support. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And she has a 20% off sale on all of her artwork until the 1111 portal, so be sure to take advantage of that. Now, we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful contemplation and decree from the bridge to freedom daily contemplation and decree be ye therefore perfect even as your father which is in heaven is perfect matthew 5:48 to study and understand the laws of life and to meditate upon them is desirable indeed but the active practice of the God presence in action brings the definite manifestation of the good upon which you meditate. Take time each day to draw the power of the presence into action in your world. And for those who look to you for guidance and assistance, as well as for those with whom you are associated, use the affirmations which follow to control and direct your consciousness in the channels for good and perfect understanding of the God presence within. I am thy father, mother, God presence, indwelling within thy mortal form. God, the immortal healing presence, is pulsating through my mortal self with every breath and heartbeat, the perfection of divinity. I accept God's divine gift of life, and no thought, feeling, desire, or human appearance shall interfere with the manifestations of its beauty and perfection. Beloved Maha Chohan, thou art the comforting presence that stands by my side of each incoming life stream. Thou dost stand at the deathbed of each child of earth to receive into yourself the last breath from the body and into your arms the weary soul, thou dost embody all the comfort that has entered any of our lives through the light of the sun the crystal purity of the water the fertility of the earth the generous contributions of the animal kingdom the kindness of friendship the love of parents and husbands and wives and children thou hast lifted up the spiritual aspirations from the weight of iniquity in our souls that we may desire truth Thou art the embodied feeling nature of God himself. On this, the anniversary of thy visitation, blessed by thy holy name, thy service to life, 
thy seven sons the beloved palace athena heart flame of thy spirit may the fullness of your great heart desires be manifest through each one who has been blessed by sharing thy consciousness in life and word so be it thank you for joining us today beloved beings of light have a most beautiful blessed week ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth keep walking gently your sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever the eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.